Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to chapter 5 We will continue our lesson We lecture 3 of 5 So by the end of the lecture You should be able to Represent a composite function By an arrow diagram a Find composite function And finally find one of the functions when the composite and the other functions are given we will start uh, this lecture with the definitions of composite functions it is also possible to take the output values from one function and use them as the input values for another function this function which are composed in this way are called composite functions or function of a function so them here refer to the output values let's say we have two functions the first one is fx and second one is gx we compose f compose gx or we may write this one as fgx meaning that the output values of the function g are used as the input values for the function f the above statement can be represented in arrow diagram so here f compose g but bear in mind we have to compose start with the g first and then with the f so what, what the arrow diagram tell us here is we use x as the input for function g and the output is gx second one we use gx as the input for function f and the outcome is fgx this is composite function similarly we define g compose fx or we may write as gfx meaning that the output values of the function f are used as the input values for the function g so the above statement can be represented in arrow diagram below so this one is g compose f but we have to compose from f then g so what does it tell us here we use x as the input for function f and the output is fx for the second function we use fx as the input for func function g and the output is gfx so down here we have five nodes so first node is f compose gx does not equals to fx multiplied by gx second note is g compose fx does not equals to gx multiplied by fx for the third note f compose fx does not equals to fx square for the fourth note is f square x does not equals to function square and for the fifth node is f square x equals to f compose f x please take note here so we have example here example 5.8 if f x equals to 3x plus 1 and g x equals to 2 minus x compose a f compose g x b g compose fx so we have two function here first one is fx second one is gx we do question a first so we need to compose f compose g x well we may rewrite this one as f g x Okay. so next step is we substitute the g 
function which is so f and gx equals to 2 minus x so next one we use 2 minus x as input for function f so this one we should have 3 2 minus x plus 1 so next step we simplify 6 minus 3x plus 1 then we simplify this one as 7 minus 3x done question 8 question B we have to compose G compose F x so we rewrite this one as g fx so we use the fx function so this one as g fx is 3x plus 1 next step is we use 3x plus 1 as the input for function g we should have 2 minus 3x plus 1 next step we simplify 2 minus 3x minus 1 and this one equals to 1 minus 3x done example 5.8 next one is example 5.9 if fx equals to 2x minus 1 and gx equals to x cubed find the values of a gf3 b fg3 and c f square 3 so for this question i realized that our x is all 3 so this one we have 3 this one we have 3 this one we have 3 what i do here is i calculate f3 first so f3 equals to 2 3 minus 1 and this one equals to 5 and second one I calculate g3 so g3 equals to 3 cube and this one equals to 27 so I'm going to use this value and this value straight away so for question A we have g f3 we write this one as g f3 right so from the previous calculation we know that f3 equals to 5 so this one equals to g 5 and what is g5 so we substitute 5 as the input in the function g we should have 5 power of 3 and this one equals to 125 this is question A for question B we have FG3 and this one equals to we know that G3 equals to 27 so this one we rewrite first so FG3 and we know G3 is 27 so this one is F 27 so next is we use 27 as the input for function f so which means 2 27 minus 1 and this one will give you 53 that is b final one is c uh, down here so C, we have f square 3 and this one is equals to f f3 we know that f3 is 5 so this one is f5 and then we use 5 as the input for the function f this one we should have 2 5 minus 1 and finally it gives answer 9 done example 5.9